Okay, we're going to keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We've got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs, says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. You catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new packet unless they borrowed it without asking. You know what say? You don't fire me Very funny. Come on, man. That's very good. Let's go save the world. Can you drive to this one? You hear about Adrian? Brought in Seattle, threw him out. The wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her, he was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Kowski. Talking from experience. Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. the Argentinian embassy. Empty. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. Car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Make a request to Washington for a fingerprint check. Good to me. I don't think so. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs.
Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thanks for your help. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway. Last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. How do you know there were three of them? It was dark. It must be 50 feet from the kitchen to the car. You telling me I'm lying? I was wearing my glasses. They had the headlights on. I'd say I was a dang sight more observant than you, son. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You gonna tell me what I wanna know, or do I have to drag it out of you? You should learn to talk to older people with some manners, you son of a bitch. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Did you see them take anything else? Nope. I don't think so. That's enough for now. Remember, Jacob, it's an offense to obstruct a criminal investigation. Let's hope you've given us everything. Jacob's dumped the book he was reading in a hurry when he walked out. I'm curious what he didn't want us to see. You're behind the wheel. This 
has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases. You kidding me? This is barely even police work. All the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car, huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. That's not right. size. No. One left. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. doesn't appear to be connected. Maybe. No. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. Sure as hell isn't here. Address, Dewey, where my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me. If he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. 
A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Thieves and bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. That's it. Like I said, the workshop's too close to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. We'll be keeping an eye on you, Dewey, and spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. We really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. You drive. I need golden case notes. You read the story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. The third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talking using color. Look what we have now. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our archangel hasn't already flown. What the hell is this guy doing? What another accommodation? Uh, where do you see a number three marked on that door? Yet. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. So how far along are you, Anna? Nearly 20 weeks. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Serving breakfast for two, Anna, you should have cleared up. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. Optimistic call. Not much help. Seems irrelevant.
circumstantial. Really ought to take more time over the Packers, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? He steals cars to support you and care for the baby? How can you say that? What makes you say that? I have my own job. I work at Union Station. If I have to, I will bring up our baby. That is all I have to say to you. I can tell you are lying. Your lips are moving. whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy.
automatic license plate. This isn't what we're looking You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here. But he hasn't come home. I swear it. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line? That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado has such an eye. Where the kid is, let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. You see the cop they've been talking about on the radio? What an accommodation. You know the way, you can drive. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? There's the red Ford. That's Delgado right there. Get in the way! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at First and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. Get in the way! Stop Gonna lose him! Quick as we shove one of these things down, nothing springs up so long. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamp. The next 16-year-old I have to peel off the sidewalk, you're calling them. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on! Step on it, fellas. Take him out.
Damn it, Cole, hold it steady. You're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto! You should speak to the maricón! Valdez, I showed him! Now who's a man? I should've burned his fucking collar! You got a foreign dignitary out it as a fruit and a kitty raper. A car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickback. And a street punk car thief won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That, Detective Phelps, is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department.